see us right now or no? Right now they can see us, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yes. What's up, guys? Yeah, welcome, everyone. Yeah, we got him. We got him here. Uh, Going to have a World Cup Google Hangout. Got Jordan Burroughs and J.D. Bergman uh, on the call with me here. There's J.D. Um, yeah, so basically how we want to run this deal is I uh, want to get a lot of fan questions in. So if you're watching, uh, you can use this little app here with the Q&A app on the Google Hangout or tweet us. Uh, use the hashtag uh, World Cup Hang. And we already have a bunch of questions in, but uh, we'll, we'll get things. So I, I just wanted to start off with a couple questions. Uh, you guys saw the draws, obviously, for World Cup. Um, just what's your initial thoughts on the draws? Uh, who, who you guys are going to wrestle? I think you got uh, Armenia, India, Iran, and Turkey in the pool play. So yeah, just your guys' thoughts, either one of you. Well, I'll start off. I, I'm excited about the entire event. I think it's going to be an awesome day. A bunch of great wrestling. Some of the best wrestlers in the world are going to be competing right here on our home soil. So it's not often that we get to compete in front of the United States of America and our fan base and have home field advantage. So I'm extremely excited. Obviously, Iran always brings a tough team. This will be my third World Cup, and Iran's always in our pool. In the last two years running, they've beaten us in our pool, and we've gone on to finish third. So the only team I've lost to in a dual meet format is Iran, and uh, I'm looking to finally reverse that this year and hopefully beat them. Um, JD, you got any thoughts on the uh, on the pool play? Yeah, not so much the pool play. I think I think we we have a good seat. I mean, we don't wrestle Iran till Friday night. I think we're in, we're in a great position to um, go ahead and get some good wins early, and then and then have our have the big one uh, Friday night uh, and beat Iran finally. Like Jordan's saying, uh, they've got a, a star-studded lineup. Um, they're bringing their number one guys, and um, that'll be huge. And and you know, Iran fans will be bringing it um, in the forum there in LA. So um, it's gonna be pretty cool. Yeah, and then you, you said that we got to get some USA fans in there. Uh, oh yeah. You guys. So, so you know those Iranians are going to be bringing out the big guns. Um, yeah. 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 So buy your tickets now if you haven't. Ticketmaster.com. Oh, yeah. um, Iran. I was going to say Iran has a huge contingent in LA. And last year we were in Tehran, Iran, and just the difference is crazy. Last year we were in Tehran. Everyone in Iran knew uh, that the World Cup was going on. They were treating us like we were. NFL or NBA stars, they were treating Jordan like they that Jordan was like Michael Jordan, and they were I mean they were like mobbing us on the way to the bus. And this year, you know, we're in LA, totally different moral compass. Uh, no one's gonna know who I am in LA. You know, no one no one's gonna care or know what's going on. You know, but that's why that's why the wrestling fans need to kind of make make it uh, known that we're wrestling in the Forum, which is an awesome venue. And uh, you know, it's a little it's very different. Everyone in Iran knew knew that. That's the wrestling sport, the national sport there. So this year it's a little different, but uh, hopefully we get some USA wrestling fans out there and um, fill up fill up the forum. I agree, fellas. Uh, you guys sort of both touched on it, but what, what's the difference in wrestling in a dual format as opposed to tournaments where you're competing you know, as an individual? What do you what do you like about wrestling as a you know as a just a solid team, straight seven guys going at it one on one? Well, I think it's really cool. I think it gives us another dynamic of our wrestling because from my perspective just on the last three years I'm just completely on my own so every even though we train together we're a team throughout the summer we go to training camps we're cheering each other on from the bleachers it's a total different dynamic when you're actually down there on the mat you're excited for your teammates you know that you're wrestling immediately after Brent Metcalf JD's gonna wrestle immediately after Keith Gavin so it's like we're cheering these guys on and as a whole we're like excited about the entire event we want to beat Iran we want to beat Armenia we want to beat Turkey so each and every time we step out there on the mat it's just reminiscent of my college days being a Husker cheering on my teammates and uh, just being excited about the entire camaraderie of the team yeah, Huskers got a good uh, good team down there, don't they? Man? Yeah, we're sick with it, but we'll talk about that later. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. All right. Uh, so you, you obviously all the top guys in the world are going to be here. Uh, yeah. You know, Jordan, your guy, you wrestled in the World Finals last year, is going to be there. Um, mm -hmm. So, like, who, who are you guys most looking forward to wrestling? I guess maybe not a team. It could be a team individual. I know you guys want Iran, but individually, who you guys want? I, I think the answer is the same between both of us. I mean, Iran is is uh, the team to beat. And they're they're bringing it. They're going to probably maybe have the biggest contingent of fans there uh, again in LA. Um, and uh, they get their fans are the loudest. They get after it, and they're. Um, but the cool thing is the the respect 
that they have as coaches and as a, as a nation um, for the sport of wrestling. To see how Russia, Iran, and the United States got together to save Olympic wrestling and keep the keep it in the Olympics, and um, it's just really cool. I mean, last year I shook hands with uh, President Ahmadinejad. There's uh, Obama's not going to be here, you know. It's just like it's it's just, it's just funny. It's funny how wrestling wrestling works, but uh, really cool experiences. So I think I I mean beating Iran that would be the that's the that's the real finals I think um, Friday night, and obviously we'll have a good match uh, the following day too in the finals of the other pool. But I think Iran's the biggest one. All right. Hold on. Well, uh, let's get to some fan questions. Um, I know they had quite a few for you guys here. Here's here's a good one, guys. Uh, so, do you have any good stories, shenanigan stories, about your World Cup teammates? About our World Cup teammates? Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. We've got some. I I think just being around guys for a number of years, especially wrestlers, we're just unique individuals. So, <laughs> I think that we all have specific stories that are are pretty laughable. Um, based on each other, but uh, I think this is the experiences we have on a daily basis are awesome. They're extremely funny. Just having guys like JD around, Tervel, who keep the mood light always. You know how tough of a grind wrestling is, and JD actually has a really good Arnold Schwarzenegger and Shrek impression. So JD, we gotta hear it. Man. He's awesome at it. Hello, dear. It's very good for you tuning in today. It's nice to meet you. Okay, kind of face to face. Well, really, the camera's face and my face. Yes, yeah, it's very good. I used to be the president of California this morning. I woke up and I did the the, the, the workouts. My veins were popping out. Okay, I grabbed the dumbbells and I was like curls now for the girls. Yes, one, yeah, yeah, two, yeah, yeah. And then threw the weights down. Yeah. I don't know. That was good. Yeah, so yeah, that's the type of stuff we deal with every day. <laughs> you don't have anything good on uh, Raymond Jordan back there? Just chilling in the Raymond background. Raymond Jordan, man, he's uh, yeah, I've got quite a bit. Actually, he lived in Lincoln with me for a year, so we train together every single day. So I know quite a bit of dirt about him. But he's getting married <laughs> soon, so I'm gonna keep that to myself. All right, all right, keeping it classy, keeping it classy. All right, uh, JB, what's your favorite pair of wrestling shoes besides your own, obviously? Oh man, that's a good question. I think, uh, well, obviously JB Elites are my favorite. If you haven't got yourself a pair, go get a pair. But um, yeah. the Dan Gable Ultra Flex, um, I think they were made sometime in the 90s, late 90s, 96, 99, sometime in that area. But I wore them actually when I won the Olympics in 2012, and they're extremely comfortable. Comfortable. They have like this inner lining sock that you fits like a glove on your foot. They're stylish. For me, it's all about style, man. I love style. It's all about looking good out there. My co high school coach always told me, look good, feel good, wrestle good. So uh, I go out there. I try to look my best, obviously, with a little bit of comfort as well, and hopefully wrestle as well as I look. Right, right. Um, yeah, just also a reminder, guys at home, use the hashtag World Cup Hang and send us your questions for these guys. Um, J.D., here's a good one for you. Um, you, know, you. You've talked about changing your diet up. Um, when did you decide to make these changes? What sort of prompted them? And can you talk about what food rules you follow? Oh yeah, um, I think that they. Uh, r what's really prompted it is meeting some pretty unbelievable human beings uh, that work in the maximized living chiropractic uh, body. And I'd say in general, they're they're the greatest number of people that I know get the truth about the body. I had no idea. I had a six pack in college eating kind of whatever I wanted. I didn't eat that bad, but uh, well now now that I know I was kind of like eating a lot of stuff that was pretty inflammatory and adding more pain and uh, now with switching my diet over, I didn't even know what kale was. I mean, not kale Sanderson. Um, I didn't even know what kale was a couple years ago. Now I'm making like kale berry smoothies and stuff and just really great natural energy. I'm basically trying to eat food that God made uh, less of food that people made, um, if that makes sense. So less process, take sugars out. Um, what's crazy is for 18 years I carbo loaded on like pasta, the, the normal wrestling diet, and you know Subway and things things like that. But now I do, I try not to eat any grains or um, no bread, no no pasta, nothing like that. Um, and I've tried to switch my body over to back to fat burning, which is got actually how our body were, was made to burn fat. So it kind of started with one of them. Within the last three years, and it's I've really cranked it up big time. It's given me a whole nother like a uh, whole nother life in wrestling. Basically, doctors pretty much said I should be retired ever since 2007. I've been able to stump doctors and forego shoulder, knee, and back surgery. Um, back surgery, they said I needed or I wouldn't be able to walk. So diet's part of that. Um, but a really nervous system health is a big big one that I tell people about because it's 
it's far from common knowledge. So. And you, you have a new blog you're, you're doing now too. You want to tell people about that? Yeah, if, if you'd have known me um, in college or, or any year in school, I was not the guy to go ahead and um, actually volunteer to write anything or <laughs> read anything. Um, but I, I'm so passionate about the truth that I've come to find uh, that I just want to help people. And it's called True Health. It's on socialcolumbus.com, and it comes out on Sundays, or usually right around Sunday, uh, once a week. And actually what I started recently uh, is I realized people don't really like to read that much, so I'm going to shorten the blogs down a little bit. They're really um, tangible. You know, anyone, any age, any sex, any weight, you can take some some things and actually apply them to your life and become healthier. And uh, and then I'm also making little videos, like about a minute or two minutes long. So, uh, but yeah, it's called True Health on SocialColumbus.com. It's a health column, and uh, yeah, I'm really having fun doing that and speaking a lot, sh just sharing truth with people and helping people feel better, be sick less, and uh, hopefully not end up in the hospital so often. You know. About the knowledge, man. Yeah. Uh, Jordan, uh, this one was kind of coming, but uh, people want to know how's the ankle doing? Ankle's good. Ankle's good. I'm feeling healthy. I took a couple months off immediately after the World Championships. Got married. Went on a honeymoon. Woo! And it's just a, it's been a great journey thus far. But my ankle's feeling good. It's feeling healthy. It still aches a little bit after a hard practice, some hard training, a lot of running and pounding. But other than that, it feels good. So. <laughs> Um, it's just reminiscent for me of my knee surgery. I had knee surgery on my LCL and PCL in 2009. Reconstructed it, came back the following year, 2011, was strong. And uh, hopefully this goes the same way. So I'm just looking forward to a great season, hopefully a season full of health and no more jumping off of walls during sprints, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, no more sprints for you, man. Yeah, no more sprints, at least not with walls at the end of them. <laughs> All right, uh, I'll take a, another fan question here. What advice do both of you guys have for upcoming high school wrestlers with uh, big dreams ahead? And I guess start with JD on this one. Um, I, with what I found, I think uh, big thing is kind of find out you know where where your identity is and and really why you're wrestling. I think I, I used to get wrapped up in my performance wins and losses and who I was as an athlete and who I was as like a, a popular guy or the the nice guy or the funny guy um, and you know I think really realizing like why why we're here thinking the big picture because wrestling's so hard I mean it's it's the hardest sport I mean arguably and and uh, it, it will instill character in you so that's awesome um, my hats off to anybody in wrestling because it takes it does take a lot it takes a lot to to be a wrestler and um, I just think in, figure out a way to enjoy it and, and don't put so much pressure on yourself. And I know it's easier said than done, but um, I mean, I, I say a prayer before every match and I just ask God to help me perform to the best of my ability. And if I can do that, uh, win or lose, I'll be happy with that. And, and uh, But um, I would just say, make sure you keep the pressure out of it and have fun with it. I mean, there's some guys in our sport that are, are doing a good job doing that and, and uh, it's, it's nice to see. So. Awesome. Jordan, you got anything to add to that? Oh, uh, yeah, for sure, man. I think there are a lot of aspects to, to being successful, but as a young man, it's uh, really encouraging for me as someone who's been a little bit beat up by life, but I'm still optimistic about every opportunity that's presented to me. So, you know, I'm just an extremely faithful guy. I have a lot of faith in Christ. And, you know, when you look at life from a positive perspective, it makes things a lot easier when you're going into situations. So even though I know I may have a tough opponent or I know this practice is going to be hard or I know you know, my wife's going through pregnancy and I got to pick up things around the house. Just having a positive perspective throughout the entire situation just makes it a little bit easier for me just to try to remain joyful through it all. So, you know, like I said, wrestling's a grind, man. You just got to try to remain optimistic and smile a lot. Smile as much as possible. So that's yeah. probably my, my advice. That's actually healthy for you to smile. I don't know if people know that, but the more positive outlook you have, that's uh, proven to actually increase your health. Relieve Help you live longer and make you a better wrestler. Yeah. Will you put that in your blog next section? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, we got a, another question here. With uh, you know how difficult the sport of wrestling is, uh, what's your greatest influence to keep going? Uh, I mean, I think Jordan touched on it. Uh, yeah. It ha happens to be um, uh, Jordan and I share the same faith, and I, I feel like um, there's a lot of misconceptions. Uh, in a in the world, I guess, and especially in the American culture, and I feel like there's so much media out there, and we're we're told so many different messages and so many different um, 
perspectives and opinions, and um, I just feel like there there is truth, and it's, it's sometimes very difficult to find. Uh, I just feel like you got to really see how much credibility someone has, what you're hearing, and I think um, the big thing for me is is my faith, and 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 that's in that's in Jesus, and and uh, that's not politically correct or anything to say, um, and and I guess I'm fine with that. I don't like ruffling anyone's feathers, but um, I grew up going to church, and and and. It's not about that anymore. I, that, that's and that's no, nothing wrong with that. But I, I guess I, uh, I didn't know that you could actually hang out with God. I didn't know that like He wanted to hang out with you and know you. Like He, he like misses us. We don't think about Him. We think about all this other stuff that, that really doesn't really amount to anything in an eternal perspective. But if you if you can like, if you have an eternal perspective on life, like and know like we have we're eternal beings. We're going somewhere for eternity, and, and to figure that out, and, like, uh, there's nothing better than the peace God can give you. And, um, you know. Breaking my back, doing all these different injuries, or taking sports away from me, um, or, or anything. They could take, they could take, you know, people away from me. I mean, I feel like it's just um, the peace God can give you, man. That's 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 the biggest thing. With however, whatever's going on, whatever hand you're dealt in life. I know people have some really tough circumstances, but right on. Um, yeah. So we actually had a question from uh, one of your teammates, Jay Kerber. Um, he wanted to know what you do to prevent uh, illness leading up to events from a sick hospital-bound birthday boy. Oh, yeah. Today's Jake has his birthday. So, first of all, I just want to wish you happy birthday, Jake, man. I don't know how old you yeah, are, but you're, Jake? Jake's getting old, man. Jake's, like, pushing 30. <laughs> you know, man. Still in it, in it to win it. But uh, for me, I try to just take care of my body as, as best as possible. So, I'm not a big supplement guy, but I do like to take daily vitamins and um, I think, you know, whatever my body can produce on its own, I just try to supplement that with a, a relatively healthy diet. And I just, I train, I train hard, and I try to recover um, at, immediately after workout. So I think that's one of the biggest things for me is just learning how to recover. I think as wrestlers, we don't really put much of an emphasis on recovery. So for me, mm -hmm. I, I'm at a chiropractor twice a week. I'm in the cold tub or the sauna, you know, multiple times a week. I stretch every single day after practice for 15 to 20 minutes before mm -hmm. practice, and uh, I just try to do just random exercises, but they're really small in the grand scheme of things in terms of keeping your body healthy and, and working at a high level. Because I'm only going to wrestle, you know, a couple more years, but I don't want to wake up when I'm 35 years old with an aching back and bad knees and a busted up ankle. I want to be able to play with my boys and wrestle with my boys and 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 maybe little girl someday. Awesome. Well, uh, I know you guys got to get to practice. Um, but any any last thoughts on World Cup uh, before we before we sign off from you guys? I guess just looking forward to um, bringing home a World Cup crown on American soil would be so awesome. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm honored to be in this position again and and on a team with someone like Jordan Burroughs, You know, <laughs> best in the world, baby. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Well, uh, yeah, thank, thank you guys for coming on. Go get them to practice today. Yeah, thanks for having us, man. We appreciate it very much. Yeah, well, thanks, Jordan. Uh, and uh, just a reminder before we sign off, you can buy your tickets again for the World Cup LA, Ticketmaster.com. Get out there and support these guys as they uh, go for that World Cup gold. Yeah, March 15th to 16th, be there. <laughs>